Hey guys, it's Toy Hunter Tony, episode 13, uh, Lucky 13. Uh, I've got my Black Bolt and Human shirt on. I kind of should have worn this uh, a couple videos ago with the first appearance of the Inhumans, but I couldn't find it. But I, I did find it for this weekend. I really like this. This was, this shirt, geez, I had it um, back in 91 when I first opened my store. It was one of the first t-shirts that I ordered, and I kept this one. Uh, didn't didn't make any profit on it because it was mine um, but last video we covered some cool toys uh, this video I got a top 10 plus a bonus uh, comic book uh, this week hard to find you know uh, spec books maybe or just hot hot in the market there's a couple that I wanted to talk about we can get right into it uh, some really cool stuff um, from my local comic shops uh, picked up some of these books um, I want to say thank you if you're watching you know who you are um, I've got uh, all kinds of cool stuff that I'm dying to make videos of and it just seems like every time I get ready to make a video I find something else so yeah, it's kind of hard to plan for next week in two weeks I know I had a big vision of where I was going but this stuff just popped up uh, I had to, I had to uh, comment on it now before we go any further you can find me on YouTube under Toy Hunter Tony, or you can find me on Instagram, Toy underscore Hunter underscore Tony. And you can follow me on Instagram. Uh, like or subscribe if you like watching these videos because you have no idea what I'm going to say or what cool product I'm going to share with you. i got to keep you guessing. But uh, let's get right to it. Uh, the top 10, I have a bonus. We'll call it number 11. Um, I just had to do this one. This one is the first cover appearance of the demon rider her name is nina uh known as nina the conjurer and this is her first cover appearance on Doc, uh, dr strange sorcerer supreme uh number three beautiful cover that's a really good storyline and uh we should be seeing her soon uh in the marvel universe uh this book goes between 25 and 30 dollars now number 10 uh, number 10, you would know kind of what's going on if you're in in the know or you're in the market. I'll just get right on it. There's some videos of people being upset, uh, uh, con condemnation, um, lying, cheating, whatever words you want to use. But this book is hot, and it's, it's awesome. It's hot for a couple reasons. I'll go ahead and share it with you. It is Werewolf by Night. Uh, number 32, which is the first appearance of Moon Knight. And this is a, a facsimile um, issue. It's a reprint. It's a reproduction. It is not the original book. Somebody put this book on eBay and didn't put the words facsimile in the main title. It's down a little print. Uh, they bid on it. It was a bidding war. A whole bunch of bids. Sold it for $832 or something like that. It's ridiculous. And everybody that's in the industry is like, look, 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 look. Um, it says $399 in the corner. That's what how many that's how much books cost now. Um, what is it? A, a 30 cent cover back then? And then also look at the look at the barcode. They didn't, they didn't have that kind of barcode back then. Um, so yeah, there's a lot of people upset. They could return the book. It's not what was intended. Um, eBay has that policy but it's a big pain in the butt but then after saying that other people are like oh this comic book is worth eight hundred dollars and they're selling it for eighty to ninety to a hundred dollars guys stop bidding on it this is a reprint you want to spend that kind of money on a big book buy the first appearance of werewolf I don't know twenty five to thirty five hundred dollars if you want that's why everybody's looking up werewolf on eBay this is from 2020. It is a beautiful book. Uh, it's got secondary value. Um, it retailed, like I said, for $3.99. Some comic shops will sell it to you for cover price if they still have it. Some sell it between $20 and $30. Right now, on average, you could get this book for about $20. $20, not $800. All right, let me get off my soapbox now. This is a beautiful book. If you'd like to read it and not have to spend a buku amount of money to get this first appearance moon night this is the issue to grab number number nine is also 
a Doctor Strange issue. This is a second print. And what is important about this is Doctor Strange has a dog called Bats. And Bats the dog, this is the first appearance. Um, uh, spoiler warning, uh, three issues from now he's gonna die. And he's gonna be a ghost dog. And this is his first appearance. I just ruined it for you. It's an old book. You, you should have already read it or not. But Bats the dog is gonna be a prominent fixture in the Marvel Universe coming soon. Uh, you might want to speculate on this book. It's beautiful. Uh, the next book is Fantastic Four, number 19. It's number eight on our list. Why? Because the daughter of one of the Wakanda scientists is named Ono, Onom, I, I, Anome, <laughs> help me. I haven't heard it enunciated. Uh, maybe you can, uh, you know, shoot me a message and tell me how to pronounce it properly. But uh, uh, what kind of scientist is going to be coming up in uh, hopefully uh, Black Panther 2 or, or or the Wakanda series on Disney Plus. But this is the first appearance of her and she goes between 20 and $30. This issue does. If you're going to research your books, you might want to research a little bit more find out how they are enunciated. Uh, book number seven, that's just between me and you. Uh, issue number seven, I'm uh, not issue number seven. Man, cut, retake, cut number 32. Uh, this is Invincible Iron Man, number 503. I just picked this up today. Thank you, sir. Uh, this is the Here's Loki variant. Uh, it's really cool, really, really good copy. It's worth between 25 and 30. Yeah, okay. Let's recoup. Uh, number, I can't even see, number six this week. <laughs> I need glasses. I'm gonna start wearing glasses for my videos. Um, this is Seasons Beatings variant cover. It's number one. This was uh, the villains when they were doing Villains Week, right? Isn't that what that says? Yep. And this is Kang. And this, this book right now is gorgeous and it is hot. It is moving up. It's worth between $30 and $50. Grab it, when, grab it if you can and when you can. Number five. This is also, this one's a new, new, new issue. Uh, this is Basilisks. Number one. This is the second print. And the reason this one's hot, it has a preview of the House of Slaughter which um, is coming out, I don't know, a couple weeks, maybe. It's a really hot book. Uh, this guy right here is going between $30 and $50. That is issue number one, second printing with the preview of House of Slaughter. We're gonna go back to a Doctor Strange. This is issue number one of Doctor Strange and the Sorcerer's Supreme. This is the first appearance of the Demon Rider and um, Nina the Conjurer, the young lady that was on the cover before, that was her first to cover appearance, and this is her first appearance inside this book. Uh, this bad boy right here goes between $40 and $50. Now last, uh, two weeks ago, I told you I was gonna look for this book. Uh, it, it was back in there, I was able to find it. But this is, I told you I would, Dr. Doom, and Doom War, number five. Uh, what the importance of this is, is Anyo, oh, where's my glasses? I'm gonna put my glasses on, hold on. Anyo, Anika, and Tila. Ah, I took my glasses off, I always, wanna, I always wanna take them off, look so cool. But they are from the Dora, and uh, I, I can't even pronounce it, Dora Malaysia. They are uh, the group that protects the Wakanda King and Queen. And they are also part of this group is called the Midnight Angels. That's the first uh, appearance of the Midnight Angels. Uh, this book is really cool. I love this mini series. It took me forever to find, actually to find issue number five. I had no idea why it was so scarce. And now I know why. This one here goes between 40 and $50. We're gonna go to number two. Uh, this one's a really cool one. This is Boons, Marvel 
Superheroes, Secret Wars. This is issue number three. This series was always known for the first appearance of the black costume for Spider-Man who turned out to be Venom. But other, other issues have some goodness in here. This has the first appearance of Volcana, um, also Titania. Uh, it is the second, what is it, incarnation? No, it's just the second version of her. Um, but it's the first appearance of Mary McFerrin. And that is the character's name that is going to be in She-Hulk on Disney+. Plus. So th this, this should be the one you look for when you're looking for the first appearance of this Titania for that episode. This issue goes between $55 and $75. All right, drum roll please. The number one comic this week, I, 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 gotta, I gotta give credit where credit is due. Uh, uh, Jermaine from Acme Comics here in Greensboro, he came across his book and he called me and um, was wanted to know if I was interested. Hands down, I was interested. So thank you. I really appreciate that, Jermaine. This book, the number one book this week of value, it is Strange Tales, issue number 134. Uh, guys, if you know that, that is the watcher on the cover. Um, he is in this book. It's uh, two parts. The first first half of the book was uh, Thing and Human Torch, and the second half is Doctor Strange. The first half had to deal with the fourth appearance of of Kang. This is a real early appearance. It is 19, oh my goodness, 1965 July, I think is the month. That is, um, geez, that's six months older than I am. <gasps> that's a, that's an old comic book. Look, we look, we look pretty similar, pretty good shape, pretty spry for our old age. But um, this is a really good book, and uh, there's some foxing on it, and uh, it's pretty clean. It's got some nicks on it, but it's an awesome book to have. Right now, this book, this book in this condition, is going uh, between two hundred and three hundred dollars. This is a lovely book, and that completes our top ten of the week. Uh, I was pretty quick with getting uh, videos back to back. Uh, 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 hardest time is prepping, prepping material, and um, you know, doing your due diligence to find out actually what's in the book or what it's worth. Um, but I enjoy doing that. It, it kind of makes you like a part-time detective. If you guys like these videos, remember like and subscribe and follow me on Instagram. You guys have a great week and I'll see you on the next hunt. Bye-bye.